You know, a strength overused actually becomes a weakness. And as a leader, if you don't fully understand your superpowers, you can actually use them to diminish your team. Here's what I mean. If you're a high D style, if you're a dominant style, if you like to get things done, you like to be a doer, you're actually going to diminish your team if you don't learn to give power away. If you don't empower the people around you, you don't delegate all your tasks. What will happen is your team will just end up watching you do all the work and you'll be frustrated because you'll be feeling strong because you got everything done and then you'll be resentful towards the people you serve. Or if you're a high eye style, if you're an influencer style and you just, you just love to be around people and you just love to say yes to everything, you will diminish the results because you can't, you, you, you can't do it all. Nothing worthwhile was achieved alone. So you're gonna, you're gonna help yourself and others by saying no, by allowing other people to take on some of those tasks. Or if you're an S style, you're, a, you're, the, you're the supportive style, you're the steady style. Change is difficult for you, but if you take too long to evolve and to grow and to allow change to, to grow your team and your organization, your team will see that as a weakness. They will see that as you don't know what you're doing or you're afraid to move forward. It's critical for the S style to accept change, to make room for change, to make room for growth and be okay with uh, stepping outside of your comfort zone. And if you're the C style, you're the cautious style, you're the, you're the contemplative style, you're the, you're the analyzing uh, style. <laughs> this one, especially, two things happen when you only focus on the facts. One, you seem cold. You seem cold to those around you right? Because you're just looking at the facts and the task while your team is looking for the, the uh, you know, surrounding and the people side of it. Another two is you may never move forward because you're so over analyzing every single decision, every single data point that you're going to miss opportunities. There is, uh, just like there's a return on investment, <laughs> there's a cost to inaction and a C-style will sometimes suffer from that cost. If you want to learn about your superpowers, and if you want to be very clear what your superpower kryptonite is, join us Monday. We're going to do our winning with people training, and I want you to be in the Zoom with us. Make sure you're clicking the link and you're joining us on Monday for this extremely powerful event that's going to make a significant difference on your personal in your professional growth. See you then.